Okay, I think I'm recording. Yeah. Right. I'm back, guys. I'm using a new piece of software because that's probably going to make it faster. And from what I can see, it has. Um, I tried recording a video before with my old software. It's glitchy software. Would not recommend it to anybody. Absolutely sucks. Um, it was it glitched out and meant that I couldn't upload my video unless I waited for like two weeks and that would just up uh, that would only upload that one video and I don't want to keep recording so that it takes two weeks for me to upload one video because I want to be able to upload more videos to help you guys out with game development stuff so in the video I tried to record I built this room which was really easy I just duplicated walls and there's a wall here which I turned off using the check key if you go to your inspector when you're on a game object uh, you can uh, make it visible and make it not visible by using this checkbox next to the name so another thing I did was made this torch which I parented to the main camera and then just moved into a nice place um, which was really easy uh, we also looked at the render settings by going to edit and then render settings that brings up all this stuff. We change the ambient light by clicking on the box. That gives you the option to change what the lighting is. So I made it sort of a grey colour. Um, I also parented the spotlight to the head of my torch, which I made using two cubes. Um, one of them was the body, and one of them was the head. I parented the head to the body and then parented the body to an empty game object called Torch which made it e nice and easy for me to move about the entire thing uh, the spotlight we made a new edit to our script so if I just go to the Torch script here we got rid of the if input dot uh, get mouse button down we got, right, we got rid of that and we made it so that it just said input dot get key down equals f you need to make sure it said dot key that was the error I made um, by putting get button because that uses a default button from unity um, which you would have pre-programmed into the software and then we said if input dot get mouse button down is one then set the light um, and the intensity uh, to f set the light intensity to five and the light spot angle to 7.5 otherwise set it back to the default that you already had um, so that basically makes it so that if you're pressing the right button it creates a focused beam which we can use to kill monsters when we start adding in AI and health and stuff like that so that's basically what we did I'll put this script in the description because I know it's kind of hard for you guys to be able to just copy all of this because uh, it code isn't like massively easy to understand and so I'll put it in the description you can download it but please do look through it um, and see if you understand it because it if you don't you probably aren't going to learn anything from it which is um, not massively my fault the only reason it would be my fault is for using bad software but anyway so then we made a new script called the no mouse script which says screen dot show cursor show with a lowercase s and cursor with a capital C no space and then we set it to false this basically makes it so that you can't see the mouse cursor when you're playing and then we just put that onto the main camera of our player controller so back into unity um, we're gonna do some animating today which means we need to make a new empty game object called animations so go to game object create empty parent it to the main camera and then I'm gonna just drag it to where the torch is about so if I go to the front uh, drag it down I can get it in line with the torch go to the side bring it down a little more nice and easy Okay, so then we're going to parent our torch to the game object, and we're going to call this we're going to call this game object animations. Like that. So that can just stay like that, nice and easy. Um, what do we want to do now? Now we're going to start doing some animating. So you want to go to window, then animation. And this brings up the animation tab. Um, 
I'm going to just drag this down to go next to project and I'm going to shrink down the hierarchy box a little bit so that we've got our animation window nice and easy to see. Can I not close this whatsoever? No, I can't it seems. But anyway, so with the animations game object selected, you want to make sure you're selecting the animations game object. You want to go to here, this little thing here, click in it, create new clip. And we're going to call this walking animation. Actually, no, walking anim. No space, capital W, capital A. Save. And then that creates a new animation. So now we'll go to, we'll click on this position X thing, then we'll go to zero on the timeline, making sure we click this record button, by the way. I forgot to do that. And then we're going to click add keyframe. That adds a new keyframe. So this is the keyframe. This is the king animation. So the first keyframe we're going to want to keep here. Then we're going to go to one. Going to add a new keyframe. Go to three. Add a new keyframe. So now on zero, we're going to move it to the right a little. Move it a little bit to the right. Hang on a second. Oh, how do we pause? Uh, there we go. Um, right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah. So first frame, we're going to move it across slightly to the uh, right. Then on this frame, we're going to move it down. A little bit so that you get that motion. Then on this frame, we're going to move it up and to the left so that you get that sort of motion. So then, if we go down here to this bit that says default, we set that to loop and we can hit play and it doesn't do what it's supposed to do because I haven't done it properly. We need to make it so that it goes down, then up, then back down again. So we need to add another keyframe here on 90. So it goes down, up, back down again. So if you want, you could just go to this keyframe here and you can move it. Easy as that. You just drag and drop keyframes. It's nice and simple. Then we go here, add a keyframe, move it. Uh, you want to do the Y as well. Sorry that this isn't very in depth. I'm kind of worried that it's not going to work properly again because that would just be disastrous. But now you've got a nice walking animation, a nice smooth walking animation. So if we hit play on that, you get walking. Like that nice and easy. That looks pretty good in itself. Um, so what we want to do now is make an idle animation. So go here to this thing again, click on it, create new clip, and we're going to call this idle animation. Idle anim, capital I, capital A, no spaces, save. Um, go to frame zero. Oh remember to click the record button, I keep forgetting to do that add a frame, you've got to click on position X as well, add a frame go to 1 add a frame go to 3 add a frame and that's on frame 0, 30 and 60 so it's like for seconds you have uh, 60 frames per second I think I'm not sure. I think that's how it goes. Um, so for the idle animation, I'm just going to make it so that the torch rotates a little bit. So we're going to go here. We're going to use the rotation tool. I'm going to make it just sort of turn a little bit on its side. Go over to this frame. Rotate it that way a little. You can face in that direction so that it's sort of just bobbing. Also get a little bit of movement going on in there. Move it down maybe a little bit. Just like that, so that it moves down and rotate it again over here. Make it point back up again, rotate it in that direction, tilt it a little maybe, 
move it down a little more. Nice and easy. So this one, we're going to want to make it ping pong. So you want to go down to that bit where it says default, click ping pong. That way when we click play, it bounces back and forth when it plays the animation. So it will just go, if I just run it through, it will go like that. Nice and easy. Do 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 do. Except slower. If you don't think it's slow enough, you can drag these keyframes out. You can select them. Shift select. Drag the one on three to one, and the one on that was on one to be on something else. So like two to be on two, like that. That slows it down a lot. So then you can hit play. Nice slow idle animation and it should ping pong, it will ping pong in the end. Okay, so now you've done that, you can click off this record button and you've got two different animations, you've got the idle animation and the walking animation and um, so we're going to create the script for this. For now you can just close this window, so hit the cross on it and then we're going to go to our scripts folder again, right click create JavaScript and we're going to call it anim animation script go ahead and open that up so hit open just wait for that to open in mono develop and so yeah there we go here we go here's our animation script now I'm trying to remember how I did this for my game because I've got animations in my game and I can't quite remember uh, okay I know that we've got to make some variables so let's go make some variables at the top of your script underneath the pragma strict bit and the function start above the function start we're gonna create some variables so you type var and then animsec we're gonna use animsec and then we're gonna do space and a colon and we want this to be a game object. Oh no, transform, sorry. Transform with a capital T. Like that. Then put a semicolon. And we're going to make another variable called player state. Like that. Not player stater. Uh, make sure this first A is lowercase as well. Sorry. Uh, player state. Uh, space colon and this is going to be a float not a floor a float and then another semicolon to show that as default this is going to be set to zero like that um, I think that's what we need to do so then we're going to go into our function update tab in we're going to go if oh wrong button sorry input dot get velocity maybe I think that's what hang on let me check input hopefully it will work input dot get why isn't it auto filling that input dot get uh, Hang on, let me just um, go and check what I... Okay, um, you want to say the uh, input dot get axis, like that, then pair of brackets, put speech marks inside those, and then horizontal, like that, um, and then an exclamation mark, then an equal symbol, then zero. Now this basically says if the if the player is moving, basically if the player is moving along the horizontal, uh, along the x or z axis, uh, like that. So then we're going to go space, uh, bra open curly brackets, go down two, close tab in. Then we're going to say player state. 
is equal to 1, else uh, open curly brackets down to close tab in then play uh, oop play player state equals zero like that and this is going to decide which state the player's in so then we want to go out of that I'll go down two so it's clearer to see what I'm doing so then we're going to go if player state um, is equal to zero uh, open do your curly brackets tab in um, anim animation animation dot crossfade uh, hang on let me just go check oh there we go sorry um, anim sec dot play animation I think that's right oh no just dot animation sorry so <laughs> sorry um, I'm a bit loose animsec dot animation dot crossfade then put in two brackets and then inside those brackets you want speech marks and you need to type the name of um, the you need to type idle anim because that or whatever you've called your idle animation and then close